Hello everyone and welcome to another video tutorial. Today we're going to talk about how to do a nested if in Microsoft Excel. In this example we have a list of suppliers, we have the associated cost, and in column C we want to calculate the rebate. So we're going to go into cell C2 and we're going to say equals IF tab to auto open it and it's going to ask us for the logical test. Now the logical test is pretty much uh, saying what do you want me to test for in order to apply some logic if it's true what do you want me to test for in order to apply some logic if it's false so I want to test if cell a2 equals apple okay now if it does equal apple I want to take the cost that's inside of b2 and I want to apply a 20% rebate okay then it's gonna ask me what do you want me to do if it's false uh, now this is when the nested if logic actually comes into play I'm going to throw in another if in the false argument, and I'm going to test if it's something else. So what if it's not Apple, but what if cell A2 equals Google, right? What do you want me to do if it's Google? I want you to take the cost in cell B2 and multiply, I don't know, 0 0.10, okay? We're going to do the same thing again for Microsoft. So we're in the false argument and we're gonna throw in another if and we're gonna say if A2 equals Microsoft, okay? What do you want me to do if it is Microsoft? Take cost in B2, multiply 0.15, okay? And value if it's false, I want you to test if cell A2 equals Samsung, okay? And we're gonna say, if it is Samsung, take cell B2, multiply it by 0.04, okay? And then this is our final value if false argument uh, because we don't have any other suppliers that we wanna test for. So now think about it like this. If it's none of these suppliers that we mentioned in the function so far, then go ahead and just return an A, okay? And what we should be conscious of here is we have a bunch of opening parentheses, as we see here, but we haven't closed any of these off. And fortunately, Excel color codes them for you, and the highest level parentheses uh, is actually black. So we just got to add a bunch of closing parentheses until we see a black one. Okay, go ahead and hit enter. And we're going to drag this formula down. And we can see that in cell A2, it happens to be Samsung. And for if it's Samsung, we want to apply 0.04 rebate. So we get 40 uh, for the rebate, right? And we could say, what if we have Uber? Okay, Uber is a supplier now, but Uber wasn't in our uh, if nested if logic, right? So as we programmed it to, it will return a an A value. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment what you would like to see next. Thank you.